Before I came here this morning, I was in the emergency room seeing patients. I still do not have a rapid diagnostic test available. Hard to manufacture? It is, it is easy to do for some countries. What happened in the United States is that the CDC created a test, up a reagent. sent a test out to 50 states, and then said, oh, hold up, don't use it, let us fix okay, it. How quickly it's can now March. Now, we hear that it's coming very soon, but I'm here to tell you right now, at one of the busiest hospitals in the country, I don't have it at my fingertips. I still have to call the Department of Health. I still have to make my case plead to test people. This is not good. We know that there are 88 cases in the United States. There are going to be hundreds by middle of the week. There's going to be thousands by next week. Keep in mind, we now have this um, in New York State, right? The person who tested positive was only the 32nd test we've done in this state. That is a national scandal. They are testing 10,000 a day in some countries, and we can't get this off the ground. I'm a practitioner on the firing line, and I don't have the tools to properly care for patients today. Did the CDC screw this up? Well, the CDC's test didn't work. They shipped a test that was faulty and they had to recall it. That, we lost critical weeks. Um, I think what we should have been doing is simultaneous to, to trying to promulgate that CDC test, also working with manufacturers like Kyogen, Thermo Fisher, Roche, and working with the academic labs to get their tests out there as well. So that way we had multiple shots on goal and we weren't just waiting for one test because if we had a hiccup, which we did, now we see the consequences of that. We lost some critical weeks. We lost about three critical weeks. I mean, was the president upset that we couldn't do accurate testing initially? You know, you know South Korea has uh, testing from your car, your drive through testing. China says you can test from home. We haven't done the testing. Well, we, we've done a fair amount of testing. 500 but, tests? But as, look, we've, we've actually screened 47,000 people coming through designated airports uh, in the country and, um, and, and done testing at airports. Facing a threat like this uh, as probably the most substantial uh, public health threat, the, the most significant threat to health care operations that we've faced uh, since we started worrying about pandemics um, since 2001, I, I think really is a challenge. Mm -hmm.